In this module, I'll go over adding line numbers to a document in sections, as well as changing the available options, and also show you how to suppress line numbering on specific paragraphs. When you are working with various types of documents, such as scripts or legal contracts, you may need to number your lines. Word can automatically count the lines in a document and display the appropriate number beside each line of text. By default, Word numbers every line in a document except those in tables, footnotes, end notes, text boxes, and headers and footers. However, you can choose your line numbers to display or what interval to display at. To view line numbers, you must be in the print layout view. So let's switch over to our sample document. Our test document is broken up into two sections, three pages long. The first thing you need to note is if your document is broken into sections and you need the entire document to be numbered, you must select the entire document. So to begin with, we'll number the entire document. So to select the entire document, I'm going to do a Control A. Now my document is selected. We'll go over to the Layout tab, Page Setup Group, and then click on Line Numbers. Once we click on Line Numbers, it's going to give me all the options available. Right now, none is checked because there's no line numbering in my document. First, we'll click Continuous. Once you do that, it will number every line in your document, even between the sections, because I highlighted the entire document. Let's come back up, restart each page. So here's page 1, starts at 1, page 2 starts at 1, and page 3 starts at 1. We'll go back to the top of our document, restart each section. Now even though I've got the entire document selected, it still knows where my section breaks are. So if I scroll down to page 2, it restarts. Page 3 continues from section 2 because we told it to do it by sections. At this point, I'm going to unselect my document, and I'm going to show you some options for a section. So if we didn't want the header selected, we'll click in there, go back to line numbers, and tell it to suppress for current paragraph. Now it starts on 1. So it skips the header and moves down to the first paragraph to start the numbering. Now if I had multiple paragraphs that I wanted it to suppress, highlight the paragraphs, go to line numbers, suppress. We'll go back in, unsuppress, unsuppress. Now let's go into our options. So we'll come down to the bottom, line numbering options. Once you click on line numbering options, it takes you into the page setup dialog box. We're going to go to about the bottom of the dialog box and click on line numbers. It's then going to bring up the line numbers dialog box. From here we can see that we've added line numbering. Our options allow us to choose what number we want to start at, how far from text we want the line numbers, and what we want to count by. So let's count by two, and it also tells us what option we had chosen. So let's say OK, and click OK. And now for this section, I told it to count by twos, so it counts two, four, six, and so forth. Now because I did not select the entire document, my section two will stay consistent with what it had when we previously had the document selected. So remember, if you're working in a document with sections and you want your options to go through the entire document, make sure you've selected the entire document. So as a quick review, we went over line numbering, how to add line numbering to your document, how to suppress line numbering, and how to change our options. And remember, line numbering is under the Layout tab, Page Setup.